What is going on guys welcome back in this little video today we're going to learn how to create and use tray icons in Python so basically having in your taskbar at the bottom right uh, a little icon for your application that you can click on and you can interact with instead of having just a graphical user interface to work with so let us get right into it. Alright, now in order to use tray icons in Python, we're going to make use of an external library called PyStray. And PyStray is going to allow us to create such a tray icon at the bottom right here in the taskbar. So basically, among all these icons here, we're going to have our own icon. And this is what we're going to use PyStray for. And in order to install it, we open up the command line and we type pip install PyStray like that. So P-Y-S-T-R-A-Y. And in my case, this is installed already, as you can see. In addition to that, we're also going to install Pillow, and Pillow is a package that we have used in a lot of videos before. Essentially, Pillow is just um, going to be used today for loading an image, and the image is going to be the icon, uh, the image, the, the image for the icon for the tray icon, essentially. So we're going to say pip install Pillow like that, and you can see this is also satisfied. And once we have those two libraries installed, what we do is we say import pystray and import pill.image. Now I like to do import pill.image explicitly. You can also of course say from pill import image. I usually prefer the other way because the problem here is that you have this image and if you have other libraries over time like tkinter, maybe opencv or another graphical package, usually they also have an image class, usually they also have an image submodule or something like that. And if you import, if you have many imports, you might overlook that and then you have multiple images and you don't really know uh, which one you're using right now. So I like to just do import pill dot image. But of course, you can also do it the other way. Once we have that, we're going to start by loading the image and the image is going to be loaded by calling pill image open and we're going to open neural dot PNG, which is this image here, a PNG file of the neural nine logo. Uh, you can use whatever image you want. And the next thing we need here now is a function that is triggered or executed when we click on the tray icon, usually when we right click on the tray icon, um, or actually when we when we click on the individual elements in the tray icon menu, you could say. So we're going to call this function on clicked. And it's going to take here as a parameter icon and item icon is the whole thing. So the whole tray icon and item is the item that we clicked on. Now for now, we're just going to print here, hello world, whatever happens, just so we see that works. And what we're going to do now is we're going to create such an icon. So we're going to say pystray dot icon with a capital I, and we're going to just call this neural like that. And it's going to have an image. And then we're going to say that the menu is equal to the pystray dot menu. So we're creating a menu here. And then we're going to add a simple icon or item actually menu item. So pystray menu item, uh, say hello or something like that. And this is going to trigger the function on clicked. And then what we need to do is we need to say I can run. Now if I run this here, you can see that I now have the trait icon down here this neural nine logo, if I click here, it's going to move in here. And now if I click on it, nothing happens. If I right click on it, you can see here a menu opens with the item say hello. And if I click on this, you can see hello world is printed here. So that's already basically how you do it, we're going to add some more interesting uh, options to that. But that's essentially how you build a simple tray icon, how you use a simple tray icon uh, with Python. And the idea is, of course, why would you do that? The idea is, let's say you have some Python process in the background that constantly listens for stock price updates or for updates of any sort or constantly back up something. So you don't want to have it always open as a window. You just want to run it windowless and without a console. So you can change the file name to PYW instead of just PY. Uh, so then it runs without a console and you have just this tray icon. And then you can control the options from the tray icon. Maybe you can open a GUI if you want to but you don't have it in your face all the time. That's the idea of a tray icon here. So now what we can do is we can add a couple of more items here. So we can say pi stray dot menu item. Um, and we can say, for example, something like exit, which is something that you definitely want to have in uh, a tray icon application where you don't have a graphical user interface and also not a command line. 
Um, and of course, you can now assign here a new function or a different function. But you can also just assign the on clicked function and then distinguish what was clicked, uh, which item was clicked, depending on the name, for example. So we can say here, if string of the item, now the item again is the item clicked. So this one or this one and the icon is the whole thing. Um, and what we can do now is we can say, okay, if the string of the item, so basically the text of the item is equal to say hello, then we're going to execute this here. Elif, the string of the item is equal to exit. If that is the case, uh, we can do something like I can stop. You can also, I think, go with system exit or just exit zero. Um, but in this case, you can see I run this. The icon is running down here. I right click. I say hello. It doesn't end. It doesn't crash the program. It's prints hello world. And if I now right click and I click on exit, you can see that the process finished with exit code zero. So basically, this stops the icon. Um, and now we can do that with a bunch of buttons. So that's actually quite simple. We can extend this as much as we want. Uh, one less interesting thing that I want to show you here is you cannot just have menu items, but you can also create um, menu items that have menus. So you can say here, sub menu is for example, the title of this one here. And what we have here is a pie stray dot menu. And here we open up a new menu, which is in Dennett. And we have here a menu item, sub item one. And let's say it's also triggering on clicked. Uh, very important, by the way, you don't uh, pass a call of on clicked. So you don't say on clicked, and then parentheses, you just pass on clicked as a function. So as an entity, uh, this is very important, of course. Um, and now we're going to have your sub item two. And of course, we can also distinguish here. So we can say elif str item is equal to sub item one, and we can also now do nothing here. So let me just do that here, print sub one, we can also not handle this one. And if I run this now, first of all, here you can see right click say hello works, then we have the sub menu here with these sub items. Um, and if I click on sub item one, we can see we get sub one. But if I click on two, nothing is going to happen because we don't have an assignment. So basically, the function is going to be called, but none of the uh, if branches is going to be triggered. So basically, nothing happens. Um, we can, of course, also do something like else print not implemented yet or something like that. So whatever we click that is not part of the list um, is essentially going to be the else branch, right click, sub menu sub item two not implemented yet. And now we can also exit from here. There you go. Um, so that is the basic idea. This is the basic way in which you can create pie tray symbols, Python tray symbols, uh, tray icons. This is quite useful for a couple of applications that we did in the past, um, where I didn't use that, for example, the alarm clock, I have a tutorial on a countdown timer, alarm clock, whatever. Um, on a couple of stock trading bots, whatever you run behind the scenes, and you don't want to have opened in a command line window all the time, because let's say you implement something like a backup automation, backup automation Python script, you don't want this thing to be constantly opened in a window, you also don't want to have to keep a command line open, you want to have it like all these buttons, oh, sorry, all these buttons down here, like the Windows Defender that is running in the background, like my Logitech Hub, like the everything search engine, you want to just have it active, you want to know it's there, you want to have options to control it, but you don't want to have it in your face all the time. And this is what you would use such a tray icon for. So that's it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. And I hope you learned something. If so, let me know by hitting a like button and leaving a comment in the comment section down below. And of course, don't forget to subscribe to this channel and hit the notification bell to not miss a single future video for free. Other than that, thank you much for watching. See you in the next video. And